Basset Hound is a very well-known dog, particularly for their large droopy ears and remarkable sense of smell that can make an amazing family pup. In today's video, we'll be comparing the Basset with their close relative, the Bloodhound, an intelligent and highly active breed with an even more powerful sense of smell that has given them their role as service dogs. the Fenrir Basset Hound Show. It's great to have you here and if you're new my name's Rachel and I'm the co-founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is here to help you raise wonderful pups of your own and to become perfect puppy parents to offer your dog a wonderful, healthy and fulfilled life. So to make sure that you never miss a future video about our four-legged best friends, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So let's jump straight into today's video and find out which of these pups could be the best breed for you. The Basset Hound was first bred to help hunters. French aristocrats bred them from bloodhounds to use when they went out hunting specifically in tracking many animals including rabbits and hares. The Basset Hound's job was to scare the animals out of the brush, which then allowed the hunters to quickly snatch their prey. There are many qualities that these impressive dogs have which meant that they were a perfect hunting companion, which we will be going into in a bit more detail later. The Basset Hound was accepted by the Kennel Club in England in 1882 and the English Basset Hound Club was formed. As I have mentioned, the Basset Hound was bred from the Bloodhound. The first reference of the Bloodhound was actually in a poem titled William of Parline, 1350, by Sir Humphrey de Bohun, where the dog is portrayed as a careful hunter who is on the trail of two bears. Early scent hounds, ancestors of the Bloodhound, were known as St Hubert Hounds, bred by monks of St Hubert's Abbey. Francois Hubert was an avid hunter who was searching for a breed of dog that would be capable of following old scent trails. The first official record of the bloodhounds being used as service dogs was in 1805, where they tracked thieves and poachers, although there are stories of them being used for this role in the 16th century. The modern bloodhound was developed in England and made its way to America in the colonial era. The Basset and Bloodhounds are similar dogs from the same family, but they're very different in size. Male Bloodhounds stand at 25 to 27 inches and weigh 90 to 110 pounds, with females 23 to 25 inches weighing 80 to 100 pounds. They're much taller than the Basset, who stand at no more than 14 inches at the shoulder, but are heavier dogs weighing between 50 and 65 pounds. Bassets have smooth and short hair, which is dirt and water repellent. It has a dense coat to protect them in all weather types. Their skin is loose and elastic-like, which gives them their typical droopy hound appearance. Most common Basset coat colours are a tricoloured, which is tan, black and white, black and white, brown and white, or red and white. Apart from needing to clean the Basset's ears and facial wrinkles and the wiping of the drool that they produce, Bassets are easy to groom. Bloodhound coat colours include black and tan, liver and tan and red. You should brush both the Bloodhound and Basset Hound weekly to keep their coat smooth, healthy and to remove excess hairs. Bloodhound's coats are loose and thin to the touch around the neck and head. The skin hangs in deep folds and as the dogs lower their heads, the skin falls loosely, specifically over the forehead and sides of the face. The loose folds on both breeds are what help to trap scents from the ground to their nose. Basset hounds are known for having a placid personality and in the home they tend to be calm and enjoy time to nap. They are very loyal to their human companions and have a friendly and gentle nature. Bassets were originally bred in packs which make them great as a family pet and with other animals. If Bassets are left alone for long periods of time they will tend to become disruptive or howl a very large amount. Bloodhounds are very gentle and friendly dogs who love affection from their families. They are definitely not a dog that likes to laze around and prefer to be active and need long walks every day. Bloodhound puppies tend to be very curious and playful but can also be boisterous or very shy and submissive. They have endless amounts of energy and stamina which can be suitable for an active family. Their kind nature makes the breed sensitive towards children and other animals and they can make a fantastic addition to a family who are willing to put in the required level of activity that this energetic dog needs. Having any breed will be costly to an extent in order to take care of them, so if you don't feel that you can afford to look after your pup then we would suggest waiting until that you feel that you are able. Basset breeders over the years have been breeding them to look a certain way. 
but these changes can now cause them to be at risk of more health problems. One example of this is their excess skin and ear length, which can both lead to skin diseases, major inflammation of the skin, hair loss and scarring. Their deep low body can drag against the ground, causing more issues with skin diseases and they can have problems with becoming overweight. The way that these pups have been bred means that they can suffer from different bone and joint issues, ear and eye problems and skin diseases and infections all of which could become extremely expensive for you. So we would highly suggest that if you don't feel that you could care for them in the way that your pup might need, then you should look at another breed, which is less costly. Bloodhounds are generally healthy, but are prone to quite a few different health conditions, which can include hip and elbow dysplasia, thyroid conditions, eye problems, epilepsy, serious digestive issues and skin conditions. Training a Basset Hound takes a lot of patience due to their independent attitude. It takes really consistent training and a lot of determination when it comes to showing them that you are the leader in your home and not them. They have been known for their stubbornness when it comes to listening to commands. And so a lot of effort is needed to show your dog that, you ne that they need to listen to what you have to say. If you are not up for this required level of effort to train your dog, or simply won't have the time to put into it, then the Basset Hound will not be the most appropriate pup for you. Without this consistent training, the breed can become quite disruptive in their independent nature, which becomes extremely frustrating to you as an owner. The Bloodhound is generally known as being strong-willed, stubborn and determined, alongside being docile and affectionate. They can be wary of strangers, so training and socialisation from a young age is extremely important to increase their confidence and to grow into a well-rounded dog. Both dogs can make very loving family companions. We recommend that you do a lot of research before deciding on which dog breed is the best match for you. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's video and that you found it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button and to make sure that you never miss a future video about our four-legged best friends, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because I can't wait to speak to you all again soon on the next episode of the Fenrir Basset Hound Show.